we're back in the studio with Fraser Dougal and a very special guest. Uh, we, we congratulate him on his, his winning of the 10-year-old class in the Northwest Music Festival broadcast on 580 CKPR February 27th, 1931. And that was CKPR's very first day on the air. It's amazing, and here he is for the last day on the air. Isn't that wonderful? Bud Brotherington, welcome to the studio. Welcome, sir. Bud, and thank you for being here this morning. Good. Thank you very much. A bit of a different studio than the previous studio that you... Talk about the facility well, that I, you uh, were introduced to then. I can remember the facilities, uh, the CKPR in uh, 1931 was on the mezzanine floor in the old Royal Eddy Hotel. And uh, when I went there, they put me up on a stool to sing into the microphone. They had the large microphones at the time. Yes. And Ralph Parker told us, uh, when it goes red, that's when you start. And it's green, <laughs> that's caution. And uh, there was a, a, another... Oh, I can't remember him. But anyway, Mr. Patterson, Norman Patterson, and, and Heck, and uh, Grimes Murphy, who was mayor at the time, were uh, were uh, standing by there on the at one side. I believe the Murphy Coal Company was the sponsor of the show. Murphy's Coal mm -hmm. Company, they used to have the slogan, We're Murphy's Coal, it's the best, it's, it's the, the best. best, it's the best. Well, you'll, you'll be as warm as a bird in its nest. If you need heat, just keep on beat. Murphy's Coal, Murphy's Coal, it's the best. <laughs> Wonderful. And there was a lot of other slogans yeah. around town. Mm -hmm. And there was the Hub Program, I sang on it a couple of times. And the old uh, Royal Theater there, that was a number, number of days ago. On Victoria Avenue. Yep. Mm -hmm. When did you do, you, or do you still do some singing? Oh, I sing around when, I, when we were uh, at the Legion. I sang a lot when I was in the Air Force. Uh, I was out in Brandon. We used to have uh, programs there every Sunday night for the troops, the guys that come in from Shiloh, from Winnipeg, or rather Brandon and that. And we'd have three, four, five thousand people in the arena there. And uh, Great West Life, and uh, oh, I can remember Mark Kenny's band coming in there, mm -hmm. and uh, Guy Lombardo, and old Joe Lewis there, he was around a couple of times. But, uh, no, they. Pretty exciting time. Eh? A pretty exciting time in history. Well, uh, in between programs like uh, Mark Kenny and them, I used to uh, go out and sing with the uh, Air Force Band. We had a, a band there. Well, that was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, when you appeared on CKPR, you were 10 years old. I was 10 years old then. Yeah. Do you remember what you sang? Yes, I sang Carolina Moon and When Your Hair Is Turned It Silver. Well, how about that? Yes, <laughs> and, that one. and look what's happened. The hair has turned to silver. Well, you have a tremendous memory. And I can remember, well, I was born on Simpson Street, mm -hmm. and I grew up with Bernie Black. And Tommy Jones, he was the mayor of Dryden. Mayor of Dryden years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we all got, we all grew up together. Mm -hmm. We had a ball there. Been listening to CKPR for all of those years. Yep, that's wonderful. I used to like the Don Messer program. Absolutely. At dinner yes. time. Yes, yes. Did you sing a lot of Don Messer material? Uh, a little bit. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, we're going down. Uh, Georgina and I are going to. Uh, Halifax next month. Super. For a week. Mm -hmm. Well, we won the uh, the uh, trip to Europe with the uh, Da Vinci Center. Oh, Ooh. good for you. And Excellent. we changed it over to Halifax. Well, we were oh, going to go there anyway. Mm -hmm. So we're going to Halifax. And <laughs> All expense paid. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's and, tremendous. Uh, we want to go down there and eat lobster. Well, good for you. Well, I introduced you as the winner. And you've, you've, you've been a winner more recently than that. Well, that's tremendous. Listen, thank you so very much for coming. It's a landmark occasion, and thank you for contributing to, yeah, well, to the program. Well, I've got your, your programs here. I've saved them. The 50th anniversary programs, yes. yes. This one here. Yeah, lots got of good stories of, in there. All, a lot of old stories and yeah. pictures of, of some of the old timers that you used to have here. Well, they're old-timers looking back now. They weren't so old at the time. <laughs> yes. 
young old timers. <laughs> yes, that's right. Well, you have made a great contribution to the history of this station, and I do thank you for that. Thank you, Rick. It's a delight. Okay. Have a wonderful time in Halifax. Well, we're going to try anyway. Well, thank Good you. Good for you. Great to meet Glad you. Glad to meet you, Fraser. That's Thank Albert you. Bud Brotherington, or Brotherton, uh, who is uh, was singing on this station on CKPR's very first day on the air. Here's a story that Don has not heard. Uh -oh. I hope Fraser's listening because he might remember. In fact, he should remember it. He was part of it. This was a lot of years ago, and it was the midday show, and it was a 12:30 major package. There was news, and yeah. then there was Farm sports. report in there too, wasn't there? Well, you were you weren't around at the time, but Peter was. No, but I was. Oh. Yeah? And uh, stock market report and uh -huh. so on. The whole thing. We went through the newscast. We came up to the stock market, and we heard things like, girdles are in the stretch. Uh -huh. yeah. All of this weird stuff. Seven up is six and three quarters. We're trying to figure out where happened. Whoa! Murphy is hopping up and down, making all sorts of this weird Johnny things. Murphy. What happened to the stock market report? What did happen to it? Fraser had snuck in. <laughs> Taken the cartridge. The owner of the station has done and has re-recorded. <laughs> <laughs> did he do that? Yeah, he did that, and he still owns the ball. Of course, yeah, right. he couldn't fire himself. What are you going to do? Well, Listen. that rascal. We're very happy that you chose the Lakehead for your new home. All of us at the Friendly 580 hope your stay will be a lengthy one, brimming with good health and happiness for you and yours. Step right up into an extraordinary world where anything is possible. OLG Casino Thunder Bay presents Zero Gravity Circus. Performing at the Harbor Arts Festival August 17th and 18th at 7. Experience remarkable performances featuring one-of-a-kind acrobats, characters, and unique props. Join us for a variety of spectacular free entertainment starting at noon throughout the weekend in the casino parking lot on Park Avenue. And don't miss Rockin' the Harbor at Marina Park August 18th. Tickets available at OLG Casino Thunder Bay. Let your imagination run wild. Wild. A new backpack, a new lunch bag. But is your child really ready for their very first day of school? Attend the First Rider program on Saturday, August 25th at Confederation College. This free program is for young first-time school bus riders. It's a fun learning experience that will answer questions and calm any concerns he or she may have about riding the bus. Sponsored by the Catholic and Public School Boards, Iron Range Bus Lines, Laidlaw Transit, and McDonald's Restaurants. Register August 20th to 24th by calling 345-7387. Writers and Readers, the fourth annual Sleeping Giant Writers Festival is scheduled for August 24th, 25th, and 26th at the Prince Arthur Waterfront Hotel. The festival features a series of workshops and readings from a variety of writers, including journalists, playwrights, filmmakers, poets, and book reviewers. Share and celebrate the literary arts in an informal and invigorating setting. Develop your skills, network, and learn tricks of the trade. For more information or to register, go to sleepinggiantwriters.com. In the local